It's 75 years since British and American planes leveled the German city of Dresden, an act some describe as a war crime. Yet many other terrible killings were carried out by Allied troops. Writer-at-large Neil Mackay finds that now is a fitting time to take a long, hard, and honest, look at our military past. Last night, 75 years ago, British and American bombers returned from the skies over Dresden, leaving the German city a smoking wasteland and 25,000 civilians dead. Debate has raged ever since over whether the bombing of Dresden, which happened between February 13 and 15, 1945, was an Allied war crime. Was it justified in order to help bring the most brutal war in history to a speedy end? Or was it a deliberate and unnecessary act of terror inflicted on a civilian population? The truth lies somewhere in the middle. Dresden was strategically vital, with sites of military importance, but the attack was also indiscriminate and the very definition of overkill. It was inevitable there would be mass civilian deaths. One particularly unsettling aspect about the post-war discussion of the Dresden bombing is that the far-right, and Nazi apologists, have tried to use the attack as proof that the Allies were no better than Hitler's regime. It's equally disturbing that as there were no effective international humanitarian rules covering aerial bombardment at the time of the bombing, some in Britain and America have claimed Dresden can never be described as a war crime as laws defining it as such hadn't been written when the attack occurred. However, a horrific act is a horrific act regardless of whether laws exist or not. Laws on aerial bombardment were only updated after the Second World War in the wake of events like Dresden. That's why no Nazi or Japanese officials were prosecuted at war crimes trials, such as Nuremberg, for attacks including the Blitz over Britain. However, as we've seen from Vietnam to Syria, these new rules of war have done little to protect civilians from aerial bombardment. It is hindsight which allows us to view horrors like Dresden with something approaching perspective. Two wrongs can never make a right, but even if events like Dresden are taken into account, it's hard to logically draw any moral equivalency between war crimes by Britain and America, and the atrocities of Nazi Germany and Imperial Japan. In purely utilitarian terms, if you add up civilians killed by the Allied powers and civilians killed by Germany and Japan, there's a mountain on one side and a hill on the other, and that's with the inclusion of events such as the atomic attacks on Japan, and Soviet reprisals on ordinary Germans. That said, though, it remains deeply troubling that the British and American people, in particular, know so little of the truth when it comes to the reality of the conduct of our troops in Warty. For more on this story, visit the news article link.